So this is a rubberized type of foam, which is typically what we've been using for many, many years. Here we have a polymeric jacket that's co-extruded onto that rubberized foam. And so this is meant to uh, provide like a, a less of ability for it to rip when you're pulling it through and also for the UV protection to try to have it be a thicker outer jacket. Here we have a uh, white polyethylene, or this is actually like a kind of like a clear foam. It's also referred to as white. And it has a thin uh, polyethylene jacket on the outside. And so on the inside of here, there's only one layer of foam. And similar to these, these are one layer of foam. Uh, but this is more of a plasticized uh, foam. So it's a polyethylene, whereas this one's a more rubberized type of foam. Now here we have one foam section on the whole outside here with a thin jacket. But this one actually has an added uh, polyethylene jacket or, or some other type of sleeve material tight to the copper. And then this one over here has two different uh, layers of polyethylene insulation and once again a thin outer jacket. So this just is my personal experience, but for the most part I seem to be having most of the corrosion problems with the polyethylene insulation. And so not so much with the rubber uh, foam insulation, but I'm sure it can occur either way. 